Hey Scorpio, I'm Tony from Intuit Activity. I'm, I've already started your reading. Like, share, and subscribe down below. Um, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, I'm here doing your uh, general read for um, that I, I had to redo it. Um, there was something going on with the videos. So I was like constantly doing these videos, trying to uh, put it up like, and it just wasn't coming out right. But um, I've been, you know, shuffling the cards or whatever, and cards have been coming out. Um, the first card that was pulled was the five of um, swords. So you've been in this energy for some time, just being on guard, being, um, being around these people, you're releasing yourself from self-sabotage and anxiety and fear of failure. And, you know, going through these, uh, it's like the devil want to have you in this energy of a failure. Okay. And you're moving away from that. You're moving away from the self-sabotaging, self-sabotaging thoughts of, you not being successful, you're changing your energy towards money, you're changing your energy towards your family life, or, you know, how you raise your, your, you know, how you delegate or conduct your family life, um, or how you delegate or conduct, uh, these workers on a job or what have you. Um, and I, I the, the last reading was about, um, some, somebody, it was a female, it was a, it was a feminine presence. And, um, it's like we're in that moon where old, old people are coming back around or something like that. And your masculine is literally having all type of problems because of his exes, like his exes are coming around or you're fearing that he's talking to his exes or something of that nature. And there was like this little dusty ass energy on his job or something like that. Um, you also pulled, uh, I also pulled out the, the uh, Ace of Wands. It's like you're in the energy of, in you know, like the will to create. You have this will, this passion to just create things and come up with different ideas for yourself to, you know, gain equity and or, you know, um, your financial situation is what you're thinking about, but your situation calls for you. Um, wow. Okay. So, but your situation calls for you to, um, not really be able to give too much time to a, like, say if you was your own, you was your own boss. You can work from home or what have you. So the job that you have, you are literally having to go out and spend countless hours or whatever just um, to create money for your, you know, your home life and pay your bills or what have you. So you've been in the energy of creating something that will help bring in equity and money for you. OK, and you're trying to figure out it's like you have this higher up and this high power of inspiration and creation. And you're finding your, you're gaining strength and finding your strength in God to move forward with your endeavors as far as your ideas. Like you just noticing that they're opening your creative side of you is opening up um, more for you to create this financial abundance that you seek and that you're going to have. You also have pulled the world card, but before you pulled the war card, you pulled, um, the uh seven of swords so you know you're just literally i'm gonna say you've just been going inward working on your low self-esteem working on how to strategize how to get rid of these little you know these thoughts of trickery and deceit when you're around people like some say somebody tell you something and you're always looking at everybody as like they the enemy or whatever like what this motherfucker want, why they here, who they are, and what they fucking want, blah, 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 blah. So you have been just literally praying to God to help guard you, your thoughts and your mind and your spirit against um, deceit and somebody trying to lie to you or be dishonest. So you have literally like cut yourself off. You have this world card and you're, you're wrapping up that. It's like you're learning to master 
master your creative side and your ideas so that you can literally create this beautiful abundant world for yourself and your children and that's what i'm picking up this this is, has nothing to do with um not today this don't have nothing to do with that dusty energy i really don't know i would have to pull some cards on your masculine whatever sign they are it may come up and still pop up but um and i think some of you have may have been dealing with a leo or aries or another scorpio or sagittarius and it's like you're you're because you have the king of pentacles here this could be either you uh scorpio i mean yes this could be either you scorpio or this is your masculine coming in and this person that you have your eye on they're coming they're intelligent they're highly intelligent and or this is your masculine they're highly intelligent they have ideas and plans set out for themselves, and they have a whole regimen that they're trying to go by and you're just trying to find your place or vice versa maybe you are the masculine and your significant other works or what have you and they are good you know good a good it's a, they're a good hearted person and they're pulling in um you know the the finances that is needed to you know go towards the home or whatever so yeah okay well it's coming back up that may be that dusty energy but i don't really see anything too much bad it's just like you're guarding your heart and i don't know if some of you are dealing with mates that may be um uh, low and vibrational um, but this lover's card did come out in the upright and it's just like you're literally celebrating or I feel like this lover card came out for the original read. You feel like Scorpio that you're in love with your masculine or your feminine and you guys are celebrating. You're finally celebrating a moment in your relationship where y'all can manifest motivate each other inspire each other and take action and move forward on your plans so this is just a good breakthrough in your love life in your relationship and if you haven't gotten this gotten with this person yet they're coming um your person may have been in this uh this energy of um A more traditional background is what I'm seeing in here. This person is more traditional. That's coming into your life for those who have not yet met this person. They're on their way. Um, yeah, you're getting justice on something. Something is is needed. And I think that's what's going on. You're using your intuition to make a judgment on staying away from these kind of people and just kind of cutting these cords with those type of people is what I'm seeing. So spirit, is there anything else here for Scorpio that you can give me? What, what do they have to look forward to in this relationship or their creative ideas growing? What is um, in the cards for them to go ahead? You're going to get justice on well, like I said, you're making you're you're the justice in this situation. You're making these judgment calls, okay? You have brought down your own tower with these people and you've removed you're removing these people from your life. That is the tower card. And you're you have removed them or you're thinking about moving removing these people. You're in some type of position of removing these people from your life. And this is Yeah, you're you're you may be dealing with a Leo, but um you're moving away from these people who are using trickery to put you in these complex situations, you know, or someone who has this uh flirty desire. There there is a masculine or a feminine around you with this flirty desire to be with you, so that may be your person coming on to you you know what i'm saying this person that i'm seeing they've been literally um holding themselves and you know just praying and staying out the way or whatever and now they're ready to come towards you so now you may be seeing a little bit more googly eyes or laughter at your jokes or what have you um 
yeah you're coming away from that frustrated feeling that frustrated energy that that energy that that you uh don't give to yourself but you're always so giving and there for others you're always listening and, and people are always coming to you to talk to you but you know when you trying to when you're in need or you're going through trying times or what have you you literally don't have anybody else there so god is literally saying that justice is on your side like i'm your spirit guides and your ancestors are on your side and they're helping you fight these battles and watch you make these changes and for uh making these changes and going and going ahead and listening to their guidance and moving forward they are about to bless you in such a way that you never saw before so like money that you've never uh actually thought you could have you're going to have that um yeah, right now, um, this is a lot, but your your masculine is guarded. He's in the King of Swords energy, trying to move away. It's like your 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 um your feminine or your masculine is doing the same thing, but they might be going through some type of hardship, feeling like they shouldn't come towards you, or you're gonna look at them funny because they don't have nothing to offer and they may need you. But this is your divine counterpart or what have you, or this is your energy, Scorps. Um Yeah, you're literally, he's there, they're literally, like, I believe this is, I feel like this energy, may, and it could be a feminine energy as well, but I feel a masculine energy here, basically learning how to get, you know, walk, make more mature uh, decisions for themselves. So they're still in a growing phase. This may be uh, a young person, maybe in their, maybe 25 or somewhere in between those ages. Um, I keep seeing like a. Like Chrysler or four, you know, like one of those. Uh, automotive places like it's just and it doesn't look like Ford or it's just like one of those places that's like a maybe a. Um, a partner of these people who make something for these people is what I'm seeing. Um, cause you're sitting in the high priestess. So you are and have been, and you or your, and your masculine or you and your feminine have been literally using your intuition to guide you through these, um, difficult circumstances of, uh, changing the energy that's around you so that you can receive this abundance you're going to receive this abundance this is the highest pinnacle that you can get out this deck so this money is definitely yours but you just might have to make some adjustments and you're doing those you're making those necessary adjustments now because you're finding out that the energy that you carry around you or the people that you have around you can affect your circumstances as well. So some of you may be closing yourself off um, to new um, friendships or what have you. We, we inv you want to invite friendships that's going to help you grow and build and it's going to help you re reach the necessary success that you're reaching for. So don't give up. Keep working at it. It is definitely yours for the grab. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, water sign, air sign. They're all here. Um, so it doesn't matter about who it is that you're dealing with. They're just know that there's a per these person, these people that you're breaking yourself off from. You have every right to hold on to every penny that they ask you for. You have every right to hold on to every emotion or whatever you can pull back your energy from these people and if you want to do it subtly because i'm seeing somebody who is on the phone with a person and this person is just nagging and nagging 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 and just talking and talking and talking and talking and they ain't got me you haven't said anything this person just talking and spirit said just let them talk just let them talk eventually when they see you don't have anything to say to them they're going to stop calling you some people just need a, a listening ear but it's what are you listening to and that's those are the energies that you have to pray about and kind of like give it to god and ask god to help this person or what have you um to get through their issues or whatever you're just doing your part and maybe that's where some of you are standing you're not handing out uh any um 
help or guidance of any sort because what i'm seeing is a person here that wants to talk and say all this other stuff but when when you give them advice or whatever they're not taking it they're not open to it or they are they're listening to you but they're not using it they're not they're not using it they're not applying it to their lives so you're literally just um cutting them off and moving along and moving forward with your success you've worked hard for your success you've worked hard for uh financial stability and god says you're going to get it with this ace of pentacles coming out here this is yours to have and you're going to have that lover and you're going to remove uh negative people from your life if you're in a negative relationship right now cut that shit off it's not for you you know um don't stay just because of financial gain or you know because of the kids or whatever if it's not working it's not working if it's hurting you how are you going to be any good to help and work help those kids or take care of those children you can't you won't even be able to function properly trust me i've been through uh, some fucked up situations even fucked up marriages but um my uh first marriage was just it, it was what it was everything has its ups and downs i was pretty young and this is the age group right now that i'm seeing on some people and uh i see five 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 here is four fives on the six it's a bunch of these bitches. It's a bunch of fives up here. So yo, you could be a life path number five, four, one, seven, three, two is what I'm seeing here. So um it's a lot of twos. You might be a life path number one or six. Um, but what I'm saying to you is you have to literally continue to move forward and work on the things that are holding you in that position sometimes it could just be a conversation from somebody because at the at the bottom of the day this is what they want to see you in because this is what they're always talking about if they're always in this type of energy when they talk to you cut that shit off pray for them people you know ignore them if you have to but you might have to move on because you have the sun card here your life is working out that's their issues let their issues go so that your life can blossom and bloom you can't worry about every else everybody else you have to worry about yourself first build you and make you look better and then i'm gonna tell you something sometimes your um partner change with success honestly so if your partner is there right now and they're not motivating you to do better and they're not doing anything for themselves to get any more uh capital gain or anything like that they're not going to move forward they're not going to move forward at all and they're, they're going to hold you back from your success and whatever you're trying to gain and have in life so i'm gonna pull a couple of moonology cards for you because we're still in this transitioning retrograde right now so we need to keep our vibrations high as possible as we possibly can encourage yourself and it don't even have to be all about your looks just you know love on yourself pray to god or do whatever it is that keeps your mind focused on staying here and helping yourself motive you know move forward perpetual moving perpetually moving forward okay stay in that motion moving forward period okay so the cards that come out is your commitment is being tested. So some of you are, that's what I'm saying. That's that dusty ass energy. And that's what it is. It could be sometimes God is testing you in a situation because if some of you deal with insecurity or something like that, God may be dealing, um, may be putting you through a test to see how you're, are you ready for that next level? Are you ready for this money? Are you going to act the fool? You know what I'm saying? So you got to show that you can move through this, this situation with, uh, a positive mindset as positive as this this situation can be moved through or how like the person probably looking at you too like oh yeah i'm gonna tell this person about this and see what happened if they go off or whatever and some people just are trying to trigger you that way some people want to be with you because you are jealous so if you you need to get rid of that energy right there that's the most fucked up energy to have inside of you understand that none of us have no reason on the face of this earth to be jealous of another motherfucking individual with this fucking skin with this color with this flesh with this blood whatever nobody you don't 1919 is on my um my timer but if you don't move away from that energy you're not going to see the blessings that god are trying that god is trying to open up for you 
a new romantic cycle begins. So some of you are seeing that this person is just there to upset you and they're not good for you or whatever. They're just trying to, to uh, fuck you up in some kind of way. And these are energies of Libra. And then I have pulled a card, uh, new, new Moon and Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So some of you are literally thinking, am I safe with my children? Is me and my children safe? Or somebody's worried about their safety. Your angels, uh, guys, and your, your ancestors are, um, and this card just came out of my hand. And your angel um, guides are protecting you. Your ancestors, God, and your um, angel guides are protecting you. And this says luck is on your side. So you don't have to worry about. the God just wants you to focus on your pinnacles. Okay. Focus on getting your finances together. You're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Keep working hard and understanding money. You might want to start studying books and reading. Get off in a corner somewhere and get quiet and just start reading a book or some shit like that um, on something that's going to be uh, help you build your mind towards what you're trying to go after. Communication is key. And this is the lover's card, the Gemini card. So some of you just need to kind of, you know, talk, learn how to talk out your situations and communicate with each other more effectively or with your partners more effectively or with your people on a job or whatever it is that you need to have, that you have to use communication with another person for. You have to learn how to do this effectively before you can move forward in some situations. And that blocks um, a lot of times at this job, the communication error blocks you from uh, moving ahead if they feel that you can't take on this management position because you don't know how to talk to general public, you're not going to get that position. So learn how to, you know, pray to God and ask him to open up your understanding of him and who he is and start asking him for, for help on some of these issues that you're having issues with. If you have like a speech impediment or what have you, God will help you get over all of these things. You can, you have to put forth the work though. The effort has to be there, Squirts. So I've enjoyed you guys' read. This was beautiful energy. Keep turning those motherfucking negative energies into positive energies and coming out with those beautiful, abundant, uh, keep coming, keep turning out these beautiful, abundant uh, readings that we're having here on in tarot world it's been a a lovely read honestly because this was really all about you two 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 on my clock um you have been in a beautiful energy of changing it for the betterment and the furtherment of yourself and your business or whatever is going on so keep doing that and keep staying in high vibrations